Hi guys, this is Tricky Ricky back with another video. Um, this is actually in follow up to the video I put out a few days ago uh, which touched upon mountain bike tyres. Um, in particular my hunt for a faster rolling but rippy setup. Um, and my experiences over the last few months. Uh, I did touch upon what I think works well as a front tyre and what works well as a rear tyre. But in this video I want to focus solely on the Schwalbe Hands Down Mark II in the Addicts Speed Grip. I wanted to do this hands down video because um, through all of my research looking at tyres and hunting for the best combination front and rear uh, I don't think there are there is that much information available uh, that actually reviews in detail the Addict Speed Grip and the new version of the, the hands down when I say new I'm talking post uh, 2018 um, so I want to give those people that are out there thinking about this tyre but not really knowing whether to take the plunge because it's you, you are talking a 50 60 quid tyre um, I wanted to give you a little bit more of an in-depth review and real-world experience if you like um, as I mentioned before I am actually kind of trialing the recon the Maxis recon setup and the max greed at, at max speed and max terror compounds um, Honestly, I do think at some point I'm going to end up moving back to the Schwalbe setup, uh, and so I wanted to kind of touch upon why that might be and why I like this tyre so much. So here's why I think this tyre works well as both a front and a rear tyre. Uh, and I'm going to prefix that by saying that I only run the hands down in the blue stripe, which is the speed grip compound. I don't run it in the orange softer compound. And on top of that, I primarily have been running this as a front tyre with a knobby nick on the rear uh, in the same speed group compound. The reason I run the blue stripe is I kind of think the soft compound, which is the orange stripe, is maybe a little bit overkill. If you focus in on these cornering lugs, you can see e even the smaller ones are significant in size and they're actually, they're all siped. So as long as you run this blue compound, this, the speed grip compound, it, at the right pressure, when you throw this tyre this tire into, uh, into the corner, really lean into that corner, these cornering lugs really do bite down. They're big enough and tall enough and strong enough that they're going to grip onto most surfaces. Um, even even in you know in a bit of slop, even if it's a bit muddy, these tires do really bite down. Uh, and the Mark II version over the over the previous hands down, even the even the center center knobs and the transitional knobs are significantly bigger. Um, on the hard pack stuff, uh, on the loose over hard stuff, um, maybe loamy trail. Uh, I think even even when it gets a little bit wetter and there's you know as long as you're not in the deep stuff in, in a bit of in a bit of the the mud this tire just works well in in all um all but the absolute muddiest of conditions uh, and on that kind of ter that terrain it actually does roll pretty well it's pretty it's pretty fast it's not the heaviest tire on the market its rotational uh, weight is a little bit uh, tough to get rolling in, in the first instance but once you're rolling it carries its speed so well I mentioned in my previous video that uh, it can be a little bit draggy, and I think I want to qualify that. Um, my local trails, I, if I'm riding up to them, I am actually riding some pavement to get there. Um, now, it's on that pavement and that tarmac type terrain that this this uh, compound and this knob pattern really does start to drag you back and really does start to hold you back and feels like it's sucking the life out of you. Um, but once you get past that and you're actually onto the trails, I, I honestly, I can't really grumble too much about the rolling speed at, at all. Um, and my hunt for a faster rolling setup was to just pr try and provide me with something that eliminated that life-sucking um, stage of, of getting to the trails where I'm actually having to ride some pavement and just give me maybe a little bit more versatility but honestly I think the, the speed grip compound with the right tire pressure in more or less all circumstances is a fantastic compound and a fantastic tread pattern it's just so grippy now that's me running as a front tire. I'm going to switch that to the to the rear tire now and say, 
It works superbly well as a rear tyre if you want to pair it with something even more aggressive and more tacky up front, say something like a Magic Mary. And then you've got an extremely fast or reasonable rolling setup with uh, effectively a grip setup that was going to carry you through, through the worst conditions imaginable. Um, uh, the Magic Mary is well known and well regarded as one of the best uh, all weather tyres. Uh, it's fantastic for UK conditions year round. Uh, but if you throw something like the Speed Grip hands down from the back of that setup, you've you're probably set for life. You, you need not look anywhere else for a, for a tyre setup. I want to run a little bit more conservatively. I want something that's a little bit quicker, more geared toward the trail, the aggressive trail, uh, rather than enduro and downhill stuff. Uh, so for me, the speed grip hands down from the front with the speed grip compound on the back is probably the right setup. Uh, and honestly, even though I am currently running the Recon's front and rear in the Max Grip Max Terra compounds as a test, I do actually feel that at some point I'm probably end up going to go back to the the um, Schwalbe Addicts compound. Uh, so recap that as a front, it works well with as an aggressive trail tire. Uh, as a rear, it works well as a an en more a an enduro downhill focused. Um, combination with something like a Magic Mary or something that's much tackier up front. I would also not be scared if if your riding suits this to to get this hands down in the softer compound in the uh, Apex casing uh, and pair it to something like a, a Nobby Nick in the Speed Grip on the back, or even pairing this Speed Grip compound in the hands down to the softer compound in the same tyre hands damp up front. There's so many options and, and variables available to you with this tyre. Um, and I think I think this is where Schwalbe have got it right over Maxis. Um, <clears throat> Maxis, they've got they've probably got a greater choice in width, but I think my conclusion is that Maxis probably make the best rear tyres and Schwalbe make the best uh, front tyres. Mm. But actually in the hands damp, you've got a really good combination of front and rear either mixing and matching or running them both. So that's my thoughts on the hands down. I think if you're wondering about this and, and thinking, should I buy this? Or maybe you're a diehard Maxis fan and you want to stick with maybe a DHR or a DHF up front, then that's fine. This, I think those tires are extremely well regarded on the market. I think I'm more of a Schwalbe man than, than a Maxis man. That's just my preference. Um, but don't be afraid, don't be shy uh, about giving this, this one a test. I, I, I can't, it's very hard to fault, very hard to fault as a tyre. So there you go guys, a bit more of an in-depth review of the Schwalbe hands down, uh, the versatility of the tyre, uh, and how good I think the Addicts Speed Group compound is. Um, again, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you did, please drop me a like. If you looked at some of my other content and it's, it's a benefit to you, then hit that bell for notifications. And please, please subscribe. I'm slowly getting subscribers. I'm up to 21 now. Yay. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please uh, pop them down below. Um, I'm happy to answer anything that comes up. And uh, that's about it. I'm going to wrap this one up there. And thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.